Hello, hello everyone, and welcome on back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a pretty in-depth tutorial of this wonderful church build you can see right behind me, which we constructed in episode 2 of my 1.16 survival let's play here on the channel. It's a pretty small build as far as churches go, but I do just love it because it is jam-packed with detail and texture, which are my favorite things to add to any build. So if you're interested in seeing how we pulled this one together and how you can construct it in your own world, survival or creative, stay tuned. Alrighty, jumping straight into the tutorial on this one, I've laid out a little bit of groundwork and we're going to start blocking out this church. So coming over here to where the entrance is going to be, we're going to start with some stone brick blocks and bring in our base pillars. So we're going to go right here, one, two, three, four, and then across five for this doorway, one, two, three, four there as well. And then we're going to go around here and bring up a bunch of these four high pillars. We've got a gap of two, four again, a gap of two, but to the left. And then one, two, three, four across three over here. One, two, three, four. And then our pillar is actually here for this one. These are just some filler blocks that we can put like that. Just two of them there. And then here we go up seven. So one, two, three, four four, five, six, seven. Here as well, which is across three, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another gap of three, one, two, three, four. We can bring up another four right behind that and then go across three again, but in one. And it is up another four blocks. So we're starting to bring in this kind of shape you can see coming together right here. Over here on the back, we're just going to go across five again like we did up the front. One, two, three, four, five, and then bring up another four high pillar. Then turn across three again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, right next to that as well and then across three from the outer of those two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Across three again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two little blocks to fill in that gap there, and then one, two, three, four on these outer ones, across three again, one, two, three, four, across two, one, two, three, four, and across two, and we're back at the start with another lot of fours. Now, I think the next thing we should do is come in and bring in our little base work over here. So we're going to come in. We're over here at the entrance again, which is where these two orange pieces are. And it's right near where the corners on this piece are. And we're just going to come in down here and start bringing in a little bit of stair action facing each other just like this on those sets of two and then facing each other with a slab in between on the sets of three. So we're just gonna repeat that all the way around, just stairs facing each other with slabs in all these gaps of three. And then here on the back where we have the five gap, we're doing the stairs again, doing a slab coming in from each side and in the centerpiece, just an upside down stair facing out like that. So then we have the entire shape of the church a bit more blocked out on that lower section and this is slowly but surely coming along. Alright, next we're going to start bringing in our basic roof shape. So we're going to come again back to this front section and just go stair up, across a block, another stair and just repeat the blocks and stairs until we get to this center point where we're going to place an upside down stair, two blocks and a wall on top just like that. Again on this side it's stair, upside down stair, block, stair, upside down stair, block, stair just like that to meet in the center. And we're gonna be repeating that same pattern at all of these outward facing pieces. So again, our stairs, our blocks, our stairs, our upside down stair, our double block and our wall. 
over here again as well up on top of this tall set of seven we're gonna go stairs upside down stairs block stairs one center upside down stair two blocks and a wall just like that and we're just gonna repeat these two kind of window design ones over here as well and then we're just gonna bring in that same shape over here on the back side where we're gonna be doing stairs just the same thing over and over again here for our basic frame it's really not anything too fancy but i think all the shapes come together really really nice in the final build so it ends up being something a lot more interesting than when it seems just like this quite a repetitive pattern and style so we've just brought in this back one and then we go over here to where we've got these two sets of the two wide pillars and we're bringing it upwards from this outer one here as well. And we can just bring this block up one actually to fill in that little gap, which would be our upside down stair. So then we do a block on top of that, a stair, upside down stair, block, stair, upside down stair, block, stair, Ooh, and is that the middle? It is, so then one upside down stair, two blocks on top and a wall. And then just again from this side, nothing too serious. A block, a stair, an upside down stair, a block, a stair, an upside down stair, and a third block, and a stair to join those up. And that right there is our basic framework for this build done. All right, coming back in here, the next step, we are gonna be getting our spruce slabs and just creating some support that we're gonna build the roof on top of. So coming up here to the top half of the fourth block up on all of our pillars just beneath where we place these stairs, we're gonna be bringing across some slabs, but leaving it blank on the inner parts of our archways. So coming in behind here, two spruce, not spruce, stone brick slabs here, three across here, three across here, leave that one there, three across on this inner bit, three here on this outer bit, leave it blank inside this big piece, coming in here, oh actually I think for these inner pieces we won't be putting roof there but we'll pop a flower box here so we will bring it across on these ones as well just over here bringing two in here and two in here and that is our basic roof supports right there so next i think we're gonna go straight into bringing in this spruce on our roofing so we're gonna go two across here and we are gonna leave this one here. I think we'll bring it here, but our tower is going to be from about here. So if we go here, here, here and here. So right where we place that staircase in one, if we have these four blocks, gap of three and another corner, this is gonna be where our tower is. So it's a five by five little square right here in this center, directly lined up with these two outer pieces and in front of our doorway, just moving in one from these spruce stairs. We'll just leave those blocks there so it'll be easy to cut out an area for our tower later on. And then we're gonna get our blocks and just start filling in this little bit of the roof going up in stairs, blocks and stairs, blocks and stairs, and then blocks on top, just like that without bringing anything in next to this upper block. And then down here doing the same thing again, just bringing this spruce up through into the roof and then coming over onto this side as well and repeating it again, but bringing this into basically where that tower is gonna be. So across again, all the way across here, and we can just bring this here, leave it in that inner piece where the window is, and just start bringing this all across and connecting everything up. So you can bring that to here, and that means these would be blocks, these would be blocks, 
this is gonna be stairs this is gonna be stairs and this one here can be a block where it connects into the block of this upper roof piece with a stair on top of it right there just like that so you end up with this kind of weird little full piece here but it doesn't actually end up looking weird in the actual build we're just kind of shaping it based around this frame that we built earlier so we're gonna keep doing this first side together which this is gonna be where our tower comes up so we can leave that section we can come back around here and just keep filling all of this in just like that nothing too hard about it and then just bringing all of this across leaving a gap right there for this window bringing oh that is where our tower is as well so we're just gonna bring these up a few i've just brought these up four for now but i'll let you know the full height of the tower later on when we get up to doing that part and just over here bringing across more stairs bringing these blocks out to fill in that gap and then more blocks more stairs just all the way across just carrying across the basic shape we outlined with our frames but at the intersect choosing to prioritize the larger of the two sections that we have created here so we're just going to keep bringing this in blocking it out stairs across blocks on top and this one we can basically run all the way to where this wall is going to be of the tower and then we can just fill the rest of this in so it's a block here then it is a stair here and also oh no it's not these ones are going to be blocks if we're carrying across what we're doing on this side so then it's just gonna be something like that and i really really love that little shape let's quickly bring it in over here as well just exactly the same thing stairs and blocks alternating to match up with what we have there in our framework pattern so that is one side done and i'm gonna quickly go finish up the other side and show you the next step now that we have our roof blocked in it should be looking something like this at this stage we're gonna start bringing in a little bit of our roof detail so grab yourself some blocks and walls and we're just gonna alternate these along these upper sections of the roof feel free to fill in this gap here this is down on this lower back section and we're just gonna do a wall next to the block and then a block and then a wall and a wall on top of the block so we're just creating this little alternating pattern and we're gonna do that all the way along so leave a gap and place blocks every second one and then fill in all the gaps with walls oh, and place walls on top of our blocks as well same thing on these little cross sections just alternating in these walls everywhere we can find to do so so right along there coming in at the front it's going to be a block here a wall and a wall there over this side block wall 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 and then same thing just over here alternating the blocks and the walls and our roof is looking significantly better now with that little bit of detail in i just love that and then next up we're going to get ourselves some cobblestone and start blocking out the little lower body of this build so coming into the front here we're going to leave where these pillars are so we're going to indent this front face one and just where i've got these orange bits of wool we're going to place our first little bit of cobblestone we're going to bring these ones up by four and then on that fourth inner one we're just going to place some upside down stairs so we're going to have this nice little four high archway for our entranceway and then just filling this in with a little bit of cobble and creating a second little upper window here as well which we're just gonna do with a little bit of this stair action in the front face right here i think that's so so cute and then we're gonna come along inside and start bringing in our cobblestone on all these inner faces just like this nothing too fancy filling all of these segments here in now we can just come in here and we're gonna leave a too high window on this little front one here so 
We'll go up one with the blocks and then one, two above where our little bottom support is and an upside down stair right there. And then we're just going to leave another little gap like that. So there'll be another one block gap where we can bring in another little piece of fence for a window there. And then coming in again, just down here, filling in this bit and then starting to bring in a little bit more window action by leaving these little gaps on the outside pieces of these three by three sections. So you will have a little face like this. So doing the same thing here, bringing that across and then bringing a pillar up through the middle and filling in that top bit. And then where we go in one here for this inside piece, we just bring that in one. We can work around and worry about the inside structure later, but for now we're just doing what we need to to make the outside look the way we'd like it to. And just bringing in this shape here as well, we are going to be bringing in a little cross window here on the back, which I really, really like. So we can make this big shape right here where we've left a block, gone up three, made a little cross section, and then up two again. And then from here on the outside, we can just bring an upper and lower stair in so that our cross will be four high with this little spot in the section there, which I really, really love. And then just coming back here on the inside and continuing to fill in all our space, coming across, creating this little cross section again, and just repeating that all the way along through here so that we have four windows on either side in this main body. What we can do as well here is just come back to where this little pillar is and we can swap this around to cobblestone here, I'm thinking. Let me see from the outside. Yeah, I think that's going to be perfect as cobblestone. So just bringing that in there to cobblestone instead of that stone brick and then coming around to this other face and just mirroring what we did on the other side just like that. It is slowly but surely coming together. And now we're just going to come into these upper sections, raise them up by one block go all the way up on these two outer sides and then place one upside down stair on the second one up and another upside down stair right there on that upper one. Yeah, I think that's going to be so, so cute. Oh, but not an upside down stair. It's a block just to hide that little bit. If we have this one here, it exposes that spruce, which just we can't change that at all from the outside. So instead, we're just going to bring in a block right there. So we have this too high window, but we also have room to add a flower box right there. So bringing that one across here too, because we may as well do that now. And just coming around to the other side to do exactly the same thing, just like this, with another too high window with a block on top. Starting in on this tower, we're going to come over here to this front face where we have our little markers for where this tower is going. And we're going to bring up these pillars from this level, just one above these stairs, 16 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, just like that. Same thing over here again from this lower exposed point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, just like that. And bringing up these back to just to match that same height level that we have there. Nothing too fancy about it. And then we're going to grab our stone brick stairs and start mapping out the frame for our upper roof. So coming in here again, we are just going to start by putting these upside down stairs up against this top piece of our pillars, just like this facing inwards all the way around because we're going to have four little points here on this roof just like this and then coming from the front we're gonna do our forward facing stairs curving so that they're facing in from the front you will get the effect of them 
So then again, one opposing it just like that and then repeating that on the back side, a normal stair here and a normal stair here. Now just underneath these ones, we're just gonna bring in a little bit of wall action coming down from those normal orientation stairs. And then heading up to start building up these frames, we're gonna place one block on top of every single upside down stair that we just placed. Wonderful. And then coming in here to start building up our archways, we're just gonna use that exact same pattern from earlier where we do a block, a stair, an upside down stair, a block, a stair, and then on top of this inner upside down stair, a double block and a wall, exactly the same as it was before and just repeating that all the way around. And there we go, we should have something looking just like this now. And I think next up, before we start filling in the rest of that roof, we're actually going to grab some iron bars and put a little bit of our roof detail in. So coming back into this upper tower roof, we're just going to bring one iron bar downwards from all of these wall pieces and then one iron bar upwards from these top wall pieces at these points of the roof just like that and then coming down to the body of the church we're gonna place our iron bars on the outermost wall on each of our faces so coming around here one here where the frame is one over here where the frame is one up here one at the end of this section of frame and then one again at the end of this lower section of frame so then we've brought those all the way around and I think it just emphasizes all of those little spikes and adds a little bit more detail, which I really, really love. Now, coming back into the upper section of the roof, I think we can just go straight into adding our spruce up here as well. So just bringing in one stair to connect these two frames, then bringing in some blocks all the way across where those are and then stairs on top of them and then our blocks again which we can just bring in from all of these top points it's basically the same roof design we did on all the sections down there but curving them around to meet each other with each of the faces and there we go so that is kind of our spruce work done and straight into adding our roof detail here we can make a little cross just like this of our blocks and then we could even add one spruce block on top like that and then another stone brick block right up there on top. Next we grab our walls and we're just going to do that same pattern of wall that we did down on the lower sections of the roof. Bringing all of that in so we create this tiny little upper section and then the last touch to this big roof. So I have done my cross on top so that it's something you'll get the view of coming forward towards this big door of the church but feel free to change the orientation to face anything else depending how you want the silhouette of the church to take shape. But I will just be bringing it in at the top here, so going up four, just like that, and then on the second one from the top, bringing out those sides with the wall so you have something just like that. And this is really starting to come together now, looking so good. Grabbing our cobblestone, we're just gonna come in here and we're gonna start placing this from this stair on that lowest exposed face of the tower down here. And we're gonna bring our cobble up 10 from this point. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Just like that. And then we're gonna fill in to that height all the way around. Now it should be looking something like this with our cobble blocked in, which it looks a bit funny right now, but when we bring in our stone brick detail at the top and all of that, I think it will fix right up. And just coming in here on these two lower down sides, we're not gonna add windows on the front and back just because we don't have much room for it. But just over here on the same level as these wall pieces, we're just gonna do our two stairs just like this, break two blocks like that, and then another stair to complement that. And these are just our little windows we're gonna be using here. So same thing again on this side, line it up with these walls, bring in your stairs. Oh, <laughs> not that middle piece, just punch out these two windows like this, and then upside down stairs again, just like that. And then next up, I think we start working on our trim. 
So straight above where the stair is for these windows, we're just gonna bring in three spruce trap doors like this. And then next to these lower trap doors, we're gonna bring upside down stairs all the way around to start off this little detail bit. And then we're gonna go up two with our walls and then another stair on top of these facing the opposite direction to create this little border. And we can grab these trap doors as well and just repeat that all the way around in line with these upside down stairs. Nothing too complicated about it. And then we're gonna do our little bit of detail on this inner bit. So coming in here with our stairs again, we're just gonna place them facing inwards against that upper one of the trap doors. We're gonna do a slab then on top of this lower one and then some upside down stairs facing like this to create this tiny little star on this lower section. And then up above where this cobble is because this is gonna, oh, <laughs> this is gonna kind of be our floor of the tower. So we can even just bring in our spruce trap doors all the way along here right now. And then from here, we're gonna just bring in a little last piece of the border where we place these two upside down stairs and just connect them with another slab. So you should have something that looks just like this, which we are gonna be repeating all the way around. Almost forgot this one final roof detail, but just coming back in up here, we're gonna bring in a slab beneath where this upside down stair is on the lower half of that block. So we have this tiny little gap, one wall coming down from that. I'm just gonna pop in a placeholder block here so I can place stairs like this up against that knock that one back out again and place a slab just like that to create these tiny little shapes in here on the roof. So going all the way around and just repeating that one, but now it should be looking something just like this, which is just so lovely. Now coming back up here as well, we're gonna start bringing in a little bit of our final details to this untextured version of the build. So back up here on these top pillars, so from where this top one is, leave one stone brick and just bring in a little pop of this chiseled stone brick just here like this. And then grabbing some stone buttons, we're just gonna place it all the way around on our chiseled to add a little bit of extra dimension, which I think is so, so nice. And it's exactly what we're gonna do with these stone pressure plates as well. Just popping them up here to create this almost tiled little effect on top of our railings up here on top of the tower. And I think we should bring in our fence pieces next for some of these windows. So all our tower windows here are gonna be our spruce fences just like this. And then coming down, we're gonna have a spruce fence window right there. This upper one here is gonna be spruce fence. This upper one here is gonna be spruce fence. And same thing over here. Now just a few more final touches on this one. We're gonna come around to this front door and just place this little wall of trap doors four high just like that. Knock out those inner two and close them all to create this little face in here where we are gonna be placing our door. Oh, not there. <laughs> just like that right there. We can just head into inventory, grab some chains, maybe grab a bell and bring that one down from this top piece. One, two, three. And the bell right there I think is nice. Oh, maybe down one more. So down four, just like that that and then we have a wonderful little bell up in our tower which i think is so so cute now we're just gonna bring in our stained glass windows over here which we're just gonna have white on the bottom of all of these ones through here all the way around and then we're gonna alternate our two different shades of blue which is our light and our blue standard so blue here on the top and then a light blue and then a blue and a light blue and a blue. That way it's not just all the same, it adds a little bit of variation, which I think ends up looking really, really cute. And then coming around here to this back one, 
we're just gonna bring in again a similar thing which is just gonna be three of these blue stained glass a light blue in the middle a light gray beneath that and then a white at the bottom so we get this really really soft gradient through those colors another thing that we can do is grab this grass block knock out our framework here on this outer face and bring in another little flower box right there which just to accent these ones we're gonna grab a little bit of spruce and oak trapdoor action and just bring these in like that for our flower boxes so same thing up here just like that and then around here adding in another one of these little flower boxes and not destroying the build while you're at it there we go and same again up here and I almost think we can add them in over here as well now of course you could add them all the way along if you wanted to it's really simple and easy just to knock out that frame and replace it with some dirt and trapdoor action but I think these three spots are my favorites for them so just repeating that again all the way around now as well if you want to have a different color scheme for your church of course you can do that just change out what we have on these upper sections of the windows and bring in some different flowers to tie it in for this build I found that the corn flower the blue orchid and of course a little bit of fern action was my favorite because the blues tie in really well with the stained glass so if you are going to change it up you could do say alternating red and orange with some orange tulips red poppies and maybe a fern or a lily of the valley or something in these flower boxes just to tie it all the way through and i think it would still look really really nice so just bringing in a little bit of this flower action alternating your way through the little flower palette you've got there oh I don't want two to be exactly the same so I'll just do that instead really really nice I think that's such a nice little bit of detail so just doing the same thing all the way around here and we should end up with something just like that which looks so so lovely and we are just about finished with the basic exterior of this build so I'm just going to show you what you can do for some texturing if you want to take this build to the next level. Now I think the simplest and easiest thing to do if you don't want to worry about stonework, which can be really time consuming to do, is just going to be breaking up this roof, which I really really love doing. So you just want to grab some blocks and start bringing them in to create something, oh, <laughs> not there, to create something a little bit different for this roof. Nothing too complicated about it. And I really like to work in sets of twos and ones. So as you can see the way I've broken this one up, there'll always be kind of twos or ones next to each other. I don't like having three in a row of either blocks or stairs, but of course, feel free to do it in a way of your own liking as well. So I'm just going to show you how I do it, I think, on this face here. And then I will leave you to your own devices and just show you the finished texturing on the roof all the way around because it is just repeating the same thing all the way over. So then coming back in and bringing in a little bit of this trapdoor action, we can start doing something like this where we're alternating ones placed on top of the blocks and ones up against the face of the build. And I think about it in a lot of complex ways, but because this one is flat here, I don't want to have that flat one right above it. So I'll put the flat one here and then do a tile piece like that there instead. And just doing things like that all the way up in terms of what we like to have in different spots, just like this. I think this is looking super duper cute already. And don't be afraid as well to bring in, like have two trapdoors next to each other and things in this tiling. I think it ends up looking really, really nice when you're doing stuff like that for this build. And just doing that same thing all the way over. So then you start creating something that looks just a little bit like this for your roof, which just looks a bit more tiled up, a bit more fun and interesting to look at. And I really, really love that. 
and it's just repeating that all the way around for this upper roof and you'll end up with something looking really really cool and I thought I should bring you in here just to texture up the roof with you because this is one you can just do exactly the same way all the way around we can take two blocks in just always facing so that they're not parallel to each other just like this on this upper stair piece I've really thrown myself off with those little trap doors just like that bring in our trap doors and repeat basically the same pattern just like this and then you can bring one up either side for that lower one doesn't really matter but just the flat one on that outer block and just like that which we can do all the way around and it creates this just really cute interesting to look at effect on our roof and I just love texturing and breaking up roofs with trapdoors and stuff like this I've got the texturing palette laid out here in my inventory so basically the things I've done with this one to really take it to the next level over in my survival world is just all these stone brick sections I broke up with a little bit of this polished andesite which I think turned out really, really cute. So we can just come through here and start turning some of this into our polished andesite. And you're having just a little bit of that alternation all the way through, which we can add into every single bit of stone brick that we have here in the build currently. I did almost forget another little piece of texturing that I brought in over in survival is just a tiny bit of these cracked stone bricks but I did only bring these in in the lower say three blocks of our stone brick all the way around which was really really useful for areas around it where it had a little bit of a drop down so don't feel like you have to build this church on a flat surface if it does drop down you can just bring in a little bit more texturing and fun here in these lower sections something just like that where it will expose a bit more of that stone foundation and you can add a bit more of the cracked stone and then for these little inner faces what i did was a main alternation with just a little bit of andesite and then a tiny pop of this dead brain coral that I went and got from the coral reef, which I think just adds so much extra depth to the build. And we want to go pretty light on our dead brain coral is the main thing here. So think of it, cobblestone is your main block for these faces. Andesite is your core mix in, so you can kind of go a bit crazier with it. Bring it in a bit all over the place, wherever you think it's going to look good. And then just a tiny pop of that dead brain coral. Just texturing this all up makes it look so, so good. And I think you are about ready for a little interior walkthrough over in the survival world. And then you are all done with this absolutely wonderful church build. Coming over here into first light, I am just going to do a little bit of a walkthrough for you of the finished product of this build, fully textured. Now at any point during this walkthrough, feel free to pause it and copy down exactly the block placement and stuff I have done because I am going to be showing you the interior so that you are able to pause it at any point and copy the blocks and things I have done there in case you're struggling or feeling stuck on what you'd like to do either inside or for the external details and texturing. Now there were a few things I just wanted to draw some attention to on the outside. First off is you can change these little blocks that we did in the corners to wall pieces where I just knocked out those slabs for a little bit of extra detail. That's just another optional thing. I did a bunch of stone build up just like this around the outside bushes all through there and where it drops down you can see I've just added that extra bit of the stone brickwork which I think adds a lot of extra detail and makes it look really super duper cute and I did just want to show you all of that so you can try and fit this build a bit more organically into your own world do not feel like you have to build this one on a flat surface honestly I think builds are always so much more interesting if they are on a bit of different elevation so you get that extra bit of room to play with the foundations I think that's very very fun 
Now heading on inside here, there's nothing too fancy about this interior. It is just basically functional, but I will walk you through what I have done here. So our floor was a dark oak base with a spruce log mix in, and then I came back through, added a bunch of brown carpet scattered all throughout just like this. And then I indented some of the brown carpet, so I put brown wool in the floor instead, just because I think that little bit of elevation variation is a really, really nice touch. We've also got these armor stands and these little stairs for the windows here, which looking up, you can see how I've integrated that stonework up into the tower here with just that little bit of staircase action. And then going all the way up the top here, we have these little arches, these cross beams just like that up the top as well we have more indents more little arches cross beams a tiny bit of button detail and here for this front door as well another thing i wanted to point out is to try and bring that archway shape back in where we have our big wall of the spruce trap doors is i just created this kind of second little archway facade here inside the front door and just filled in that upper gap with another little spruce arch so that window still had somewhere to be looking to and then coming forward into the church further just flowers and the same thing again over on this side we have four rows of these little stairs to act as just seats or pews here in the church on the lines of our pillars not lined up with our windows so they've got that little bit of offset and then looking up here, you can kind of see what I've done with the roof. So feel free to pause at any point here if you do just want to copy what I've done for the inner roof work. But I've got these two cross beams, which are kind of lined up, centered around these upper little window sections here. And then as well, I did a little pop of this stone archway. We have some flowers in some item frames up the front. And this is our little stand. So we've brought some spruce wood up a layer, done a little bit of sign and button detail, put a lectern right here. And this is the view looking down the church aisle just like that nothing too complicated and that up there is what we've done just for that bit of roof detail above the cross as well there's a little oak cross beam and just a bunch of stair and trapdoor action just like there is throughout the rest of the church and that is about it for the interior here it's nothing too fancy but i hope that you got a good enough look of it that you're able to copy it over if you're struggling for what to do with the interior here in the church now coming over here as well i did really quickly want to show you this one this is our church's buddy build so it is basically very very similar all around to the church it's the same block palette but instead of our block stair block stair roof frame we did just stairs on the roof frame and one block up these window faces it is five wide here we have two little stained glass windows and a fence right there oh, walking into the bush with a little bit of that exposed foundation again we do have a black stone chimney here currently but i'm really thinking about changing it to brick just because i think it'll make it feel a bit warmer and homelier so I'm thinking a red brick and granite chimney here instead with just a bunch more of that texturing. This build is seven along in here, not counting our framework. So if you are wanting to add a buddy build to your church that is just like this one, I hope this little walk around here has given you enough where you're able to pause it and copy it through to your own world if you want to. Just a little bit of stair action up on the top there too. But it makes such a nice accompaniment for this church. For me, I kind of themed it to be a pastor's house. But if you're doing it in a cemetery or graveyard like this, it could also be, you know, a gravekeeper's house, something like that. Whatever you'd like it to be. And it is just kind of a sleeping area and storeroom. I did a spruce floor here in this one, but again with the wool and carpet action. And then just a little bit of shelving. This is what we have for our roof with this little lantern offset. Nothing too fancy about it. And that is basically it for this build here and for the church build. I really, really hope you enjoyed getting to see these builds come together in your own worlds if you followed along with the tutorial and you love them as much as I do. They have to be some of my favorite builds I have ever done here in this world. And I really, really hope you love them. So once again, thank you so, so much for watching and coming along for the tutorial. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.